Okay, Coach, you published a book about your old uh, college basketball coach, Joe Lapchick. And now that you've, you've done that, let, why, do you want, why do you want to talk about getting a book published? Why do you want to help other people get their books published? Well, that's a good question, Peter. I think the, the real reason is that I see so many people uh, belong to writing clubs and they kind of dream about getting a book published someday. And I, and I kind of live that dream. You know, I didn't have a great background in writing, but with uh, a lot of effort, uh, we actually got a book commercially published and I'd like to share my experiences with your community. Now, what were some, what were some of the challenges or problems that you faced as a first time author getting your book published? Well, the first thing that everybody told me was you had to have a contract for a book before you should start to write it, which I ignored because I knew I was going to enjoy all the research of, of a book. Uh, another issue uh, which anybody tells you about is you have to have an agent, a literary agent, uh, to get a book published, unless you self-publish it which is also a possibility. So those were two important issues that I had to deal with, and plus learn how to write a book, which uh, was an interesting journey. All right. That's an interesting point. Learn how to write a book. Uh, talk a little bit more about that. I, I think the one thing, one of the things that I discovered was if you look at a book as a three or 400 page experience, it, it overwhelms you. But if you think of a book in terms of chapters or uh, portions that you'd like to write about, it becomes more doable. And I think that was a very important lesson that I learned getting into it. Don't try to swallow the whole book in one shot. You write pieces of it, and then you fit it, fit it together, and I think that's what makes a book a book. Now, you have a PhD in history. You wrote a dissertation. How does writing a dissertation which involves research, the writing process, differ from writing a book like Lapchick? Well, the, the dissertation was something that could easily be rejected uh, by your mentor. But the probably the most important point, which is a point also for a book, is that you have to have an excellent topic that will be approved by university people to in order to get into the arena for a dissertation for a doctorate. In writing it, too, the, it's like uh, having traffic cops on every corner. You're always battling uh, different issues, technical issues, to make sure it works. And it's very hard to see the whole picture of a dissertation. Uh, you have to rely almost completely on your mentor who's really directing you. That's how it differs to me from a book, which is something you have more hands-on control of. Now, um, you said that you had an agent help you get your books published. Uh, what, what did you do before you got the uh, book published in terms of trying to get it published on your own? And what led you to the conclusion that you needed an agent? Well, I, I was fortunate that a lot of good people advised me. Uh, one of them was Tom, Tom Mayer from Newsday, who's uh, an outstanding writer of biographies and a feature writer for Newsday, and, and he was the one who kept telling me that I had to have an agent to really be able to get a book commercially published. Uh, but I, uh, with the, the publishing of a book, uh, there was also all these turns in the road that I thought were very important that come up that you have to be able to handle to help you get to the end of the, the experiment or the experience. Now, what, what advice would you give a first-time writer about trying to find an agent. I mean, you just don't go into the yellow pages under book agent and pick one out. Well, well that's that was one of the turns that I did make. I mean, I I literally did do that. I, I sent I sent a proposal with a, a wonderful sample chapter uh, to 20 agents that I took out of a book, and I got a response from two of them, and uh, one of them that eventually became my a literary agent uh, was someone that I had played summer league basketball with uh, when we were both in college. He was in Dartmouth when I was at St. John's. So 
I think I was lucky. But I also have to say that luck is uh, the way one of the coaches who used to come to my camp, by the name of Roly Massimino, used to talk about it. He used to say, I'm the luckiest guy in the world. The harder I work, the luckier I get. So getting an agent is difficult. You don't have to go the commercial route. You can go the university press route. And there are other, there is self-publishing, which I personally didn't want to use, but there are routes to take. And especially today with so many memoir writing uh, people out there at universities and in local libraries, the, the desire to, to write and to see what you wrote in print is strong and, and passionate in a lot of people. And that's what I think could draw people to what I would talk about. Now, um, as a published author, you're working on your second book. What advice? What would be the what would be the uh, what would be the, 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 the two or three or four most important points you would want somebody to take away from your experience as a writer in terms of getting a book published? Uh, I think the first thing I think of uh, Peter is that uh, I didn't really know how to write a book when I went back to graduate school and then eventually wrote a dissertation, but I learned. And I think uh, to be a, a better writer, you have to write as much as you can, as often as you can, and you have to edit what you write. You have to learn about concision. And that's something I would go over with people in, in, a, in a program that I would present this to. But I think being a uh, Maybe realizing that in every person there's a, a good book, it's said. And I think if you had the satisfaction that I experienced and what happened as a result of writing one book, uh, it's an unbelievably uh, strong feeling and a good feeling that I think not only uh, 18 and 20 and 25 year old people could enjoy, but I think senior citizens could especially enjoy it because they have time, they have a lifetime to look back on, and they could really write some good stuff if they had a little momentum and a little motivation, which I think I could provide. 